Hi Black Pals, welcome to my part 2 of the denture videos. If you haven't watched the part 1, please watch that right away so you know what's going on. I have here the custom trays which I already put the border molding on and I was able to capture the spaces and the borders of the patient's mouth. Then I used PVS. So this is already custom to the patient. The point of this is to get the borders is for the denture to fit a lot better. Then after getting these trays, I use um, stone to pour them up on the left side. These pink rims are made out of acrylic and they are used and they are made in the same way that I made my custom tray. You can watch that video over there. Then I add a lot of wax on top of it to create the wax rims. And the whole point of the wax rims is they kind of act as like kind of like a guideline and a blueprint for the patient's bite. Basically, I build up these blocks of wax and when I put them in the patient's mouth, I can adjust them to what their bite is like. Oh, hi there. Come a little closer. <laughs> I work out my wax rooms right now. And yes, this is after school. I was here at 8 to 10, didn't finish, and had class from 10 to 12, had a meeting from 12 to, like, I don't know, 12.45, and then now I'm back here. This is what it used to look like. I created this um, custom, not custom tray. I created this, oh my God, it's not, it's not coming up. <laughs> this is my, so what I did was this is my master impression. I poured it up. Um, the borders are apparently supposed to be better than the regular diagnostic impression. And then I created this base out of this base plate right here. And then what I do is I build up this pink wax on top of this. And you guys are like, oh my God, is this really like people's gingival color? No, 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 this, this is just wax. Later on, it's gonna be made into acrylic. So, oh, 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 oh. Also, um, if you wanna see like the full denture video, I'll have that later. Um, this is just like little snippets, a little sneak peeky for you all, my loyal fans. Also, I used this tool that my friend got from Lowe's to really help and smooth down and make the wax rims flat. So I highly recommend that, life-changing. Once the wax rims are completed and level, then you go ahead and put them in the patient's mouth. Then you adjust them to make sure that they're level and on the same plane. And I, in this example, I used Vanilla Bite. And in this example, I used Aluwax. I personally like Aluwax, the green one, because I feel like it doesn't really fall off very easily, whereas Vanilla Bite does, but again, that's personal preference. And with all this information, you are able to use a face bow and mount the wax rims accordingly, and then, dun dun dun, setting teeth, which I will do another video, so that's part three on. So stay tuned on that. Bye!